All right, so we are on our way out to the build, 6533 Chimney Rock. We finished up uh, a couple of weeks ago. The last couple of weeks, kind of been cleaning things up and uh, getting everything ready to go. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are out at the build. So as you can tell, the concrete meets the asphalt here in the front. Got a huge garage on this side. Kick the garage to the side of the house. These windows here are actually windows in your garage, so it makes a ton of light come into your garage. Uh, big formal entry on a big lot. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are walking up the driveway. This is a pretty big driveway. Plenty of room to back a trailer in here. Uh, or lots of parking if you have some people over. We decided to go with an 18 foot wide by eight uh, foot tall door on this side. This one's a full 10 foot tall door by about nine wide. That bay right there is 27 and a half feet deep and this bay is 25 and a half feet deep. So a lot of room to park trucks or boats, lawnmowers, whatever you need. Another cool thing about this house is right here behind me, we have in permitted a 40 by 40 shop. So it's turnkey ready to go to just put in a 40 by 40 shop. Now that shop would match the house and then you could put in three 13 foot uh, tall doors that match the house and also the windows and everything. So we have the plans ready to go for that big shop. So here we are walking up to the front of the house. This is kind of a cool walkway to a grand entrance. You know, if you have company coming over, uh, they can definitely check it out. This front patio is absolutely huge. You can't really tell how big it is from here. These steps are super wide. Uh, the cultured stone looks really good. Just a, a really grand entrance. Uh, that's a full eight foot tall front door with a window beside it. Um, really good looking, good looking door. All right, here we are on this front patio. Let's take a look inside. So when you first come through this door, this is an eight foot tall front door. You can see it's got a window in it. You kind of have a good view uh, straight in to see how open of a floor plan this house is. As you walk in uh, to your right hand side, this is your tri-level. So you can go down the stairs to go downstairs or up the stairs to go upstairs. And as you can see behind me, there's a huge kitchen uh, with the fireplace. All right, let's take a look at this kitchen. So in here we have GE Slate appliances, soft closed uh, cabinets, really cool hardware, pendant lights uh, hanging over the island. Uh, let's take a closer look. So here's the countertops in here, really cool color, very cool hardware on these soft closed drawers. Uh, these are the GE Slate appliances. They're uh, getting really popular because they don't leave fingerprints on them. Uh, this is a full gas range uh, with a gas oven. So with a griddle in the middle, uh, super popular appliance. Uh, we also have the GE Slate dishwasher in here. Um, really quiet. We went with a, a Big oversized sink in here that's really deep. Chrome finish on that. Oversized Sierra Pacific windows. Same hardware all the way around in the kitchen here. This is a really big pantry. Uh, it's, it's lit really well so you can see in there. Uh, pretty decent size. Um, all of the handles in this entire house are the levers, uh, which is, a, is an upgrade rather than a regular handle. You can see got some room up there if you want to put a plant or something. Uh, this island has drawers all the way in it. A lot of room for storage in here. Underneath. Got extra outlets all the way across. You know, this is a great spot to sit here 
Uh, the goal is to kind of have a TV on that wall above the fireplace over there. So just a perfect spot for entertaining. So there's a good look at your kitchen. Let's walk up here to your master. On the second level of this house, there's three bedrooms, one being the master, and two bathrooms, one being a bathroom in the master. So let's go take a look at the master. So off of the left-hand side of the upstairs is where your master would be. As you can tell, this is a really bright room. Uh, we put this window in here just to let in a lot of light. This is a big Sierra Pacific window. Gives you a really good look at the backyard. Another neat feature about this house is every single bedroom in here has HDMI ports on the top and the bottom. So you don't have to worry if you hang a flat screen TV on the wall, you don't have to worry about having the wires in between. Here's our master bath. So to the right hand side, we put in a huge garden tub, big soaker tub, and it is all tiled and everything. Further back is the bathroom. And off to the left hand side is the big shower. Here's our sink. As you can tell, we went with white cabinets, but we kept the same hardware all the way through the entire house. Really cool looking hardware. Big mirror in here. This is a really light bathroom. Everything is really well lit. Back to the left hand side is a huge walk-in closet with all these built-ins. Two lights in here. This is an extra bright room. Lots of space for all your wardrobe. And here's another look at the sink. Okay, so staying up here on the upper level, there's two additional bedrooms along with the master up here. Both are, are pretty decent size and they both have big windows. So this is the second bathroom that's on the second story in this house. All right, let's take a look at the downstairs side of this house. So down here we have two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a big family room with the walkout. So to the right-hand side is a big bedroom, really bright with the window in here. Um, huge closet, this is a big walk-in closet. Turned out looking really good. It's got a couple lights in here, make it super bright. And so immediately down the stairs is this big family room. This is a perfect spot um, for a TV on the wall with a couch kind of to lounge at. And here's the walkout of this house. So you can tell we got a big concrete patio that's out here. This would be a perfect spot for a fire pit. Um, just a good spot to enjoy the afternoon. Now to the left side of the downstairs is the other bedroom that's down here with a closet and also another bathroom for the downstairs. Okay, so here we are in the main. Let's go check out the laundry room over here. So out here, this is the garage off to this side of the house. We added the extra windows in here to make it super bright. And then as you first walk into the house, here is your laundry room. So we have uh, your washer dryer hookups. We also have a sink in here with a sprayer. Awesome feature to have in a laundry room. 
So as you walk in from the garage in the laundry room, to the left-hand side is the kitchen, and to the right-hand side is the office. This is a really good room uh, to sit in here and do paperwork. Uh, this is has a huge window in here, 10 foot tall ceilings. Um, this room actually leads out to the front of the house. This will be our front door on the right hand side and the kitchen on the left. On the main floor, we also decided to incorporate a full bathroom. All right, here we are back outside of the house here. As you can tell, here's the side where the garages are at. The property line actually goes from that white post clear over to that white post around the far side of the house up until right there. And it comes all the way around to the power box. This is a 1.1 acre lot. As you can see, you got a big front yard and also a big backyard. So we haven't talked too much about the technical specs of this house. This house is a five bedroom, four bathroom, uh, custom house uh, located in Fire Rock subdivision, 3,025 square feet. It's got oversized garages um, with the walkout. Really neat house, uh, tons of upgrades on it. Uh, here's kind of flipping through the, our plans here. Uh, this is how the house actually sits on the lot. You can tell this is the cul-de-sac here. This is Chimney Rock Drive. So the house kind of sits at an angle off the road. The garages are kicked to the side. Down on this side is the walkout. And over here is the proposed shop. So you can tell you got a big backyard and also a pretty decent sized front yard considering it's on an acre lot. Here are the plans for the shop. I've gotten a lot of questions about a shop out here. This is a 40 by 40 shop. Um, as you can tell, it matches the garage that we have now. Uh, it's got really cool windows in there, big doors, big garage doors that also have windows in them. Uh, lights over top each door. Um, so there's kind of the technical specs to build that shop. Um, is definitely doable. It's already permitted and ready to go for the lot. Here's some more just pictures of the house we have out here. So again, my name is Seth Doler. I'm the builder of this house and also the developer out here at Fire Rock. If you're interested in this house, I'd love to talk with you. If you want me to build you a house like this, I'd love to talk with you. If you're interested in lots out here at Fire Rock, I'd love to talk with you. Um, I definitely enjoyed building this house and, and showing everybody what it takes to build a house. Uh, I thought it was a really, really cool opportunity to kind of give you an insight of what I do on a daily basis. Um, so again, thanks for following along. Have a good rest of the day.